In November 2013, the voters of Floyd County, Georgia, approved the construction of an $11 million tennis facility to be called the Tennis Center of Georgia. Once built, it would be one of the most impressive public tennis centers in America. And somewhere near Rome, Georgia, an unassuming man named Bernard Neal was surely smiling. One of Bernard's uh, dreams for Georgia tennis and Rome is about to uh, take place with the recent approval of all the funds for the Tennis Center of Georgia, which is uh, going to be a tremendous asset for tennis all throughout the state and the South. For a city the size of Rome, we're going to be able to take a lot of tennis tournaments there. That uh, The largest ones that are held in Georgia will be held there, and he's, that's been a dream of his for many years, and it's nice to see it finally come to realization for him. Without question, Bernard Neal is one of the pioneering figures of tennis in the northwest part of the state. He helped create the Coosa Valley Tennis Association, which to this day serves as a model for local league play. Incredibly, Tennis Magazine at one point listed Rome, Georgia as the ninth best tennis city in America. And it was made possible by a man who is no more than a casual tennis player himself. He gave so much of his uh, later life to the volunteer side of the sport, along with George Wallace, um, that Bernard, Bernard and, and George were really the stalwarts of tennis in, in Northwest Georgia and the Coosa Valley Tennis Association. And uh, Bernard stuck with it for, you know, for 30, 40 years now. Neil was active in the GTA leadership and also founded the Georgia Tennis Foundation in the 1980s. But perhaps his most public victory was his stewardship of the 1990 Fed Cup, which came to Norcross, Georgia. He brought the Fed Cup to Atlanta in 1990, and it was one of the last years that the Fed Cup was um, where all the countries of the world came together, and there was over 35 countries at that time that competed. And um, one of the real stars of, of that day that was just beginning to hit the tennis scene was Jennifer Capriati as a 12-year-old out of Florida. And uh, she was the star of the American team and it was a, a terrific week of tennis that, that Bernard uh, was the chairman of. That had uh, the top players from 47 countries, the ladies that, out at, that played at the old, what was then the WCT Peachtree, but that was uh, some of his, in my opinion, his greatest contributions to tennis in Georgia. Fast forward to 2013 and the yes vote to the construction of a major tennis complex in Rome. Bernard Neal continues to be the guiding light to tennis in his beloved Northwest Georgia. You know, Bernard's not only been a, a, uh, a tennis leader in Georgia, but in Rome, he's had an influence in tennis and in the business community there for over 60 years. Rome to this very day is one of the great tennis towns in Georgia, has one of the great tennis centers, and much of that is because of all the great volunteer work that Bernard Neal did during his time. Bernard Neal is a worthy member of the Georgia Tennis Hall of Fame.